The Life of Aldous Huxley by Catherine Ackley. Aldous was born in Godalming, Surrey, England on July 26, 1894. His parents were Leonard and Julia Huxley. He was the third eldest son in the Huxley family. His father, Leonard Huxley, was an English school teacher and writer. Huxley was a very smart boy, and because of his intelligence, he was considered weird or different. Many of the other boys wouldn't include Huxley in their games. Later in his life, Huxley would reflect his feelings of isolation through his character Bernard Marx in his novel Brave New World. In 1908, when Aldous was 14, his mother died from cancer. Two years later, when Aldous was a student studying at Eton, he contracted a disease which left him blind for two years and nearly blind for the rest of his life. Losing his eyesight prevented Aldous from becoming a doctor like he wanted to. Huxley's younger brother, Noel, committed suicide in 1914. Aldous later wrote about the death of his mother and brother in his book, Eyeless in Gaza, which was published in 1936. Huxley's two older brothers became famous scientists, following in the footsteps of their grandfather, Thomas Henry Huxley, who was a famous biologist. Since Aldous couldn't study science because of his eyesight, he began to study literature. He got his bachelor's degree in literature at Belilo College in Oxford in 1916. While going to school, Huxley got a job as a clerk of the Air Ministry, but he didn't like working there. After working as a clerk, Huxley taught at Eton for a little while before deciding that he didn't like teaching either. He started his professional writing career in 1920. He worked as a drama critic for the Westminster Gazette and staff writer for House and Garden and Vogue. During this job, Huxley wrote novels, essays, and poetry, but he was most famous for his novels. His novels were clever, shocking, and pessimistic in their view of human nature. During his early writing career, Huxley traveled around Europe a lot, meeting famous writers. In 1919, Huxley married a Belgian woman named Maria Nis. In the 1920s, Aldous wrote mostly satire. His first novel, Chrome Yellow, was published in 1921. His other novels that were written during the 20s were Antic Hay, written in 1923, Those Barren Leaves, written in 1925, and Point Counterpoint, written in 1928. In 1937, Mr. and Mrs. Huxley and their son Matthew left Europe and went to Southern California. Huxley stayed in California for the rest of his life. In the 1930s, Huxley's novels became more philosophical as he became interested in exploring sociology, politics, ethics, fundamental questions, and philosophy. His novels that he wrote in the 1930s were mostly philosophical, science fiction, and dystopian literature. He wrote Brave New World in 1932, Eyeless in Gaza in 1936, which reflects the death of Huxley's mom and brother, and After Many a Summer in 1939. In the 1940s and 50s, Huxley began experimenting with mind-altering drugs such as LSD and mescaline. Aldous believed that these drugs gave him the same experience as religious people did through fasting, prayer, and meditation. While experimenting with these drugs, Huxley became more focused on spirituality, specifically communicating with a greater being. His writing became more mystic as a result of this fascination. During the 1940s through the 1960s, Huxley wrote mostly mystical and speculative literature. As a result of experimentation with mind-altering drugs, Huxley's novels written in the 1940s to the 1960s were mostly mystical and speculative literature. 
1944, Huxley wrote the novel Time Must Have a Stop. In 1948, Huxley wrote the novel Ape and Essence. In 1955, Huxley wrote the novel The Genius and the Goddess. The last novel that Huxley ever wrote was Island, published in 1962. Aldous Huxley was alive during a very important time period, the early 19th century. Huxley saw great historical events in his lifetime, such as the Industrial Revolution, World War I, and the Great Depression. The hardship and suffering that Aldous observed going on all around him during these historical events aided him in developing several of his common themes throughout his novels, such as satire towards the upper class, the flaws of society, and depression. Two of Aldous's books that he is well known for are Island and Brave New World. These books are complete opposites in the fact that Island is about a utopian society and Brave New World is about a dystopian society. The ironic thing is that both of these societies had the same flaws. This was one of Huxley's revolutionary ideas. He wanted his readers to see that society will always have faults and shortcomings, so long as it is run by imperfect human beings, that is. Today, he is known as a radical in literature, a man who changed his style of writing as he got deeper into human nature and consciousness. Huxley was one of the most important literary radicals of the 20th century. His writings were smart and shocking. He pushed literature to a new level. He challenged society to question their ethics and human nature. Aldous died on November 22, 1963. Aldous made many revolutionary predictions about the future, and some people are afraid that society today is becoming more and more like the societies in his books. Although Aldous Huxley has been dead for many years, the lessons that he taught us are timeless.